What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Steve Nasantaski here, Amazing Brew, bringing you another Michigan Hockey Highlights video. This time, the number eight Wolverines take on the number 16 Fighting Irish of Notre Dame on their arena. So, let's jump into the highlights here. Michigan gets the sweep. I'll spoil it for you right away. Right? I'm too excited. They're, they get the sweep. So, right away here, <laughs> you have a uh, fast break opportunity. Uh, or actually, that's that's Portillo in the net for this first save. Here's the fast break opportunity I was mentioning. Nice little pass there from Bordalo over to Brisson. Not able to get a clean shot up front, but look at this little pass from Bordalo. Ooh, that looks pretty. And uh, I thought Brisson maybe should have taken a shot there. Instead, he tries to do one extra pass, just not able to get that one in. Here's another fast break opportunity, Brisson and Bordalo again. Bordalo, oh, I thought Bordalo had a really good chance here if the pass came across. I thought there was little bit of an alley that you could go right here instead he has his eyes on net if you're Brisson so he doesn't pass that he just hikes it over the net unfortunate there he probably regrets not passing that but here's an opportunity who that was that was close for Blankenberg here you can see at the point here loses the puck a bit able to keep it in the zone they call this tripping I think and uh I don't know how that's a tripping penalty like maybe but I don't know. Anyway, good job from him to not uh, create that fast break opportunity. Notre Dame goes on the power play. Good job from, from Portillo. Look at his arm out there, right? Able to use that long 6'5 frame he has uh, to create that one. And this one, <laughs> if that last one wasn't a tripping, this one was. Uh, Michigan goes right back to the power play. No real good shots for uh, Notre Dame. Really good job from Philip LaPointe here. Pass over to Borlo. Not able to get there. But then I'm going to speed up here. Watch Philip LaPointe here. Just burn more time on the clock. Able to keep this puck in Notre Dame zone. Watch that power play ticker time down. So really good job from him. Wasting at least like 30 seconds there with his play. And then right at the end here, you have a good pass deflection or shot deflection there from, I believe that was Pearson. Uh, turnover here in the zone. Bordelow able to get a good shot on St. Cyr. Not able to get that past him. Uh, but right there, I think it goes off his face mask maybe, but good attempt there. Portillo almost gets this one snuck by. Uh, that's a tipped puck. You can see just goes wide, so fortunate there, but um, we're getting towards the end of the first period here. Really good stick movement there, just not able to put that one in for, I believe that was Beecher. Um, good job from uh, Pearson, able to keep this one in, pass over to Brisson, able to put that shot on net. Um, that one just went a bit wide. And then you have good puck movement here up in front. A couple of chances, just not able to sneak that one by. Pass back to the point. Blankenberg shot, can't get through. Pearson, nice tip pass. I want to point this one out. This is a really good attempt here. So you have a pass from Pearson up to the front of the net. And then watch this. It's going to be like a little tip here and a little spin move here to try to get this chance out front. So there's your pass. There's just a little redirect. And you see the little spin move there. Um, for passage off, just good stick from St. Cyr from Notre Dame to get on that to cover that one up. After the first period, uh, Michigan is pretty even at this point, um, and no real notable uh, scores there. A couple of power plays for uh, Notre Dame, they were able to not capitalize, and good kills for Michigan. And here's the first goal, first goal of the game. You have Owen Power, really nice shot up front there, um, and just he was excellent all weekend long. And you'll see this was tipped, and Michigan has done a really good job at these tips. You can see right there. Bordalo able to how you can actually tip this puck between the five hole like this is insane to me. So really good redirect from him able to get on the board one nothing. And uh, there's a tripping penalty. You can see um, trying to get into the zone for passage off. That's a clear trip. Michigan gets put on the power play. There's a nice shot from Blankenberg that just sneaks over the top of the net. Good attempt there trying to hit Blankenberg uh, midair with the puck there. Can't get that one in. And then really good chance right there. And there it is. LaPointe with his first collegiate goal. Put the puck on net. Good things are going to happen. So Matty Beneers, I believe that was Beneers, put the puck on net. Able to fight for LaPointe. Just able to get that one in again. So, again, good positioning. Way to get the puck on net. And just good extra uh, slap or two there from LaPointe. He gets his first goal. Good turnover opportunity here for York. Good job intercepting that pass. Able to put that one on net. Not able to put it through. But good attempt there. Um, good active mid ice movement there from him and there's another opportunity there out in front off of the slap shot this one unfortunate LaPointe stick breaks that creates this fast break breakaway opportunity for number 27 good job from Portillo getting the stick on that one you can see right there what do you do about that right that's just super unfortunate thing he should have done instead he's trying to go to uh trying to go to the bench to get an extra to get an extra stick here instead because he's 
vacating that, that just leaves us open, right? So him trying to redirect here, he's already given that opportunity. Instead, if he was there, maybe he could have just held him up a little bit more. So again, good job from Portillo getting his stick out there, not allowing that one passed. Um, this guy's the fastest guy alive, number 21 for Notre Dame. I don't know how he's that fast, but good job from Portillo kicking that one away. And then you have a, a good job there, good shot from Beecher, putting the puck on net for Granowitz, I believe, there as well. And then um, here's an opportunity for Notre Dame, pass across number four. That one goes just a bit wide, not able to settle that one down. Um, but that's, again, not too many grade A opportunities for Notre Dame. Good job from Portillo, not allowing the rebound on that one. York speeding up the left side here. Again, this is a defenseman, right? Really good job shooting this one in the net. Uh, Notre Dame is just crowded in their own net. This one was under review. It was called a goal, so they need conclusive evidence to overturn it. You can see right here, right? Okay, so where is the easiest to see this buck? You can see right there, it's in, like it hits off the player's arm right there, and then you can see it's in the net somewhere, okay? It looks like it's like right around here, right around there or so. I believe that's the puck, and then it bounces off of that player inside the net. They called it a goal. There was no conclusive evidence to overturn it. Here's a good opportunity for Brisson, able to pick the pocket there, get a shot on net, not able to put that one home, but good speed up the left wing there. Great pass from Beneers here over to Johnson, just really great puck movement right there. That main pass was excellent to get it to Berniers, and now you have essentially a three on one. Berniers finds Kent Johnson, and then just really good patience, right? You have St. Cyr who has to react to this pass. If you're St. Cyr, you have to go this way, and Kent Johnson cutting across this way, that's just way too much movement for the goalie to adequately be able to defend that, and because of that patience, it pays off, right? Right there, get him off balance. You have a wide open net, and he's able to put that home for nothing, and four goals in the second period. Good job from Portillo here, and you got a, a penalty in the back, so good job from Portillo. Watch him kind of kick this one away and then just kind of uh, get around the post there. Pearson, I believe, picks up a boarding penalty right there. Um, so you're on the power play again if you're Notre Dame. Portillo, again, not giving up any easy rebounds. Um, and that was paramount for him being successful in this one. A uh, couple chances here. Again, nothing really great, A. Eh? Lots of good blocks for Michigan. And uh, that one was no different. You're in the third here. Turnover, Matty Benier is able to provide one to... Johnson out front, not able to capitalize on that. And then you have another redirect here. Great shot there, and Kent Johnson able to get, look at that, this is a great angle. You see this great redirect there from Kent Johnson. Nothing to do if you're a goalie there, right? How do you how do you defend against that? So really good job from him getting his stick on that one midair. And again, it's just unreal um, that they're able to do that. So eight minutes left here, a few chances battling around out front. Michigan able to get that one out of here. Another turnover in the zone. Good block there from Portillo. A couple shots, nothing really going. Would like to see maybe him glove that, not give up the opportunity on the rebound there. But again, Portillo was pretty dynamite all night. Uh, here, finally, they're able to put one in with five minutes left. You can see just short side. That's really tough to defend against. Um, kind of snuck through there, blocker side. So that's more of a picture perfect uh, shot than anything else. So I'll give that one to Portillo. And uh, that's how this one ends. So Michigan wins the first game. 5-1, to one, really good performance from Portillo. Really good to see that from him. And uh, he, he earned a lot of respect from me where, uh, you know, you, you have Strauss, Strauss Mann, your captain, and then you have another guy, a true freshman in, in Portillo, to back him up, and you're looking really good on your goalie depth and keeping those guys fresh. So game two here, you have Strauss Mann in net now. Um, scary opportunity there out in front. Here's a good pass over that somehow gets in. So... Pass over to passage off. He shoots this. It double doinks off of the defenseman. You'll see right here. Boom off the skate. So it's going to go off the skate, off the leg, and then back in the goal. So just there's one, two, and just kind of redirects in. So really good job. Uh, just putting the puck on net. Again, throw it at the net. See what happens. Here's a turnover opportunity for Tyson. Be able to get saved there from Strauss man. And then here's another opportunity out in front. Owen Power able to put that one out in front. And Kent Johnson not able to sneak that one by. You can see right here he's asking for it out in front. Just not able to get a good handle on it. Um, here you have a really great job from passage job. Knocking this one down near the blue line. Able to create an opportunity for himself. You can see he just kind of plucks that out of the air with his stick. Able to keep that in the zone. And then he's able to get a good shot that uh, you know is, is blocked from St. Cyr. But good opportunity there. Uh, here you have an opportunity for... Uh, Strauss man again you'd like to see him not give that opportunity 
pucks out in front. It does get in. But you can see right here, Blankenberg, this is an important number seven, right, right out in front, gets shoved into Strauss Man, and that forces Strauss Man back into the net. So eventually the puck does find its way into the back. But you can see right there, number 14, shoving Blankenberg into Strauss Man. That creates that puck opportunity or that opportunity for uh, that player to get in. You can see that it was reviewed, no goal. And this is the player. If a defending player has been pushed, whatever. Um, that comes into contact with the goalkeeper. It should be contact initiated from the attacking player. That's how it's uh, parsed or whatever. So anyway, no goal. It's off the off the board there because of that play of how it was um, initiated from uh, Notre Dame. A couple chances here. Good job from Strauss Man on that last one. Not able to give an opportunity. This one, Owen Power able to get a shot in. That one I don't think found its way through. And then a uh, good job from Strauss Man on a three on two opportunity. It looked like there. Uh, able to cover that one up um, pretty well. So good job from him. Uh, able to keep it in the zone here for Notre Dame. And here's a tipped shot that finds its way to the back of that. So that one's tough. Again, tip passes. That's really tough. This is a really great angle where you can see it goes off of the stick there. And then it goes through two pairs of legs there. You can see, right? I don't know why my screen is doing this, but it's going to go off of this stick. And then it's going to go through these legs and then through those legs and finds the left side of the net so tough goal not much to do if you're Strauss man so um one to one and Notre Dame was able to put on a, a fair amount of pressure there's a good hit they were they were a physical team all weekend there's a really good hit at mid ice for number 14 he's their enforcer uh opportunity here for Michigan 13 minutes left um that one not able to sneak its way through fast break opportunity here for Notre Dame Strauss man really good job keeping that one in front it does kind of trickle out there you can see on the left side there almost got kicked in from Truscott after that initial save you can see it goes off the knee there of Truscott good job from Strauss man getting the additional leg out there to prevent that one and then again a couple opportunities here um puck kind of loose around the net good job from Strauss man again that puck goes just over the net Truscott able to get one in a couple opportunities for Borlo passage off able to get that in front as well it's not able to sneak it through. Trust got with the one-timer opportunity over there. I think that was Brisson. And you got some extracurriculars here. You got a lot of punching, some fun <laughs> some fun words being exchanged, I'm sure. This was a four-on-four -four opportunity. We missed like 30 seconds here because of this messaging. And then it just comes into this where it's a fast break opportunity, breakaway for Notre Dame. And really good job from Strauss, man. Able to glove that one. You can see right here, boom, glove in the right spot, right time. Shuts that one down. And uh, we're about seven minutes left here. Strauss man, really scary opportunity. He tries to play this behind the net. You can see it just bounce over his glove there. Luckily, this player from Notre Dame not able to get a clean stick on it. Otherwise, it's a wide open net. Good job from Beecher to get that one out as well. Um, and then you have a penalty here. Or not even a penalty, just a stoppage. I think this was an offsides or something. But you can see right off of the whistle right there, you can see a couple players going after Truscott there on the boards. LaPointe doesn't like that. Moyle over here to to say hello as well. So you can see right there, it's kind of after the whistle. So that's why you have LaPointe coming in saying like, hey, I'm not a fan of you. And the rivalry is still alive and well to any of those questioning it. Here's a, a great opportunity for Michigan up there. Brisson with the shot goes right off the post right there. You can see, so good shot, uh, just a little bit high. Um, and then good job from Strauss Mann, able to keep this in. Um, again, they were able to put a lot of pucks on net for Notre Dame, just not able to get those second chance opportunities off of the rebounds. And uh, Michigan had a, a little bit higher quality looks. This is a nice little toe drag there for pass job, getting the defender to commit. Just good so glove save there from St. Cyr. Um, turnover, scary opportunity there uh, for Notre Dame. Just really good save from Strauss, man. Just a little bit careless behind the net there. And then you can see just a really good job uh, swallowing that rebound as well for Strauss, man. And then right at the end of the period, there was a good tipped opportunity there out front, not able to capitalize on that. And now we're into the third, uh, tied one to one. Good opportunity here off tipped shot there and a rebound opportunity. Two players for Notre Dame out front. Good job from Kiernan blocking that one off. And then uh, boarding penalty there. Kind of a little bit scary there. You got Beecher that hit. Uh, I mean, yeah, I think it's the right call. So uh, good power or penalty kill for Michigan again here. That was really the only good shot. So Michigan's penalty kill all weekend was really good. Here, Michigan really wanted a penalty. I thought it's fair to call this one uh, if you wanted it to be a penalty, but this one uh, could have been called a, a boarding penalty. It was pretty close there. It wasn't called. Turnover opportunity for Michigan right after a couple shots, just not able to find their way uh, to the net. 
But, uh, yeah, I thought that hit against Manny Veneers right there could have been called boarding. It wasn't, so, um, you know, questionable. But there's a good shot deflection there from Luke Morgan on defense. Good job from him. And then Michigan able to finally find the net here with eight minutes left. Um, good shot from the point. And then you have Granowitz. Or I think this was credited to Owen Power. But you have Granowitz up front. And also hits it's, it actually hits off the stick of St. Cyr. You can see right there deflects off of that and then off the post. So, Or I'm sorry, that's Kieran in with the shot. And then it goes off of uh, the stick of the goalie. And that's in. And then Michigan gets some insurance here with an extra goal there. Good job crashing the net here from Moyle. And then you're going to have uh, Brisson, I think, push push this one in. So good job just getting the puck on net and Brisson able to put that one in. And uh, Michigan gets an insurance goal. Now they're up up two goals late in the third. So a uh, minute and a half left here. Just a really good job for Michigan to keep this in the zone, right? They're generating some shots. The priority here is more just keeping it out of their own zone so Notre Dame can't pull their goalie. And that's what they did for a good minute, minute and a half here. And you'll see here, empty net finally for Notre Dame. Um, they only have 60 seconds left to make up this uh, two-goal deficit. So uh, there's a penalty um, behind the net there against Notre Dame. The guy leaves his feet to take out uh, take out power, and Michigan's just able to kill the penalty uh, to win the game and, and take the series from the Fighting Irish. So that's it, 3-1 to one for this one after 5-1 to one on the previous game. And uh, I don't know what uh, Pearson was mad about, but uh, he's he's angry after the game. I love that. Love the energy he brings. Um, but anyway, that's the sweep for Michigan. They improve to, I believe, 10 and 6 right now. They're second in the Big Ten, so they're gaining on Minnesota. And it's really good. They're on a really good track, obviously, with this two-week shutdown. A little bit of a bummer as they're peaking, you know. But really good to see from them. This is a really great series to sweep away from Yost Arena as well. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Just like and subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate you guys supporting the channel. Beyond that, guys, stay safe out there. As always, go blue.